Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another Shenanigan Plays Dress Cold Steel 2. Let us go fight Lord Alborea. Exclamations! Yusis! Duke Alborea! Hmm, looks like he's got some company from Ouroboros too. Nice it is to see you all again. Long time no see. Huh? Where'd Purple Lightning go? Pretty sure I saw her with you when you entered the fortress. She's downstairs. She can't make it, I'm afraid. Oh, how did you even make it here? What does that terrorist and those Jaegers think they're doing? S was defeated. The Northern Jaegers left. The Noble Alliance has completely turned its back on you. You have nowhere left to run, Father. Please. Surrender with good grace. How dare you speak that way to me? Who do you think I am? You just better watch himself with that sword. It's like right in between Reen's legs. I am the head of the house Alborea, the ruler of the Kreutzen province, and one of the four great houses. There's nothing special about the four houses. Your status does nothing to excuse your actions. No amount of power can grant you the freedom to raise your own lands. Silence! The people in that pitiful excuse of a town willingly sat back and accepted an enemy force squatting in my territory. This country's future is as a nation ruled by the nobility, and those shameless fools have no place in it. How is that beyond your comprehension? Father. I truly pity you. We've talked enough. Let's get this done. Oh, aren't we overconfident? Do you honestly think it will be that simple? Lord Rufus may have chosen to abandon his father, but until we're told it is no longer necessary, we will fulfill the mission we have been given. I suggest you abandon all hope of victory, for we will be your opponents. <laughs> I fear for our chances against both of them at once. Nah, I'm good. Exclamations? Excuse me? Can't deny I'm a little interested in what that black-haired kid can do. But with the purple lightning missing in action, you can take this one on your own. See ya. Maybe next time we get a chance to fight, it'll be in somewhere that can take the heat. Your partner's not the most reliable one in Ouroboros now, is he? So? You still intend to take us on even without him? <sighs> so, you all think you can make a fool out of me, do you? Yeah. Come forth! Vanguard F3! Slate near! Archaisms? They seem pretty well armored. It must be for defending bases. We may have fought before, but that was a mere taste of what I'm truly capable of. Come at me with all that you have. I am the head knight of the Stallridder, Duvali the Swift, and I shall defeat every one of you! We'll see about that. Here she comes! We'll be the ones defeating you. Now, draw your weapons. Let's move. Right. So. I have not battle scoped these. Yeah. I'll handle this. And I'm not 100% sure if we've battle scoped her. Yes, we have. All right. So, let's see if uh Laura and Yusis can handle this. Ooh, yeah. We're gonna need these guys too, probably. Beyond. 
<laughs> Treasure these final moments. Uh, how are you still standing? Yeah, you haven't even gotten a hit in on us yet, Duvali. And Reen's gonna finish it off with massive overkill. My blade will cleave ignorance and light the way. And Duvalee just got warped. We'll cut our own path. Target rendered powerless. We were able to overcome her after all. But I wonder, didn't she seem unusually tired? Ugh. First I disgrace myself in Crossbell, and now here? How am I to face my illustrious lord who told me to serve as witness here now? You've nowhere left to run, father. How dare you, Eusis? And you, girl, what do you think you're doing? You will protect me. Girl? <laughs> you seem to have greatly misconstrued my reason for being here. The mission assigned to me was to come and watch this fortress fall. No one ever said anything about protecting you. Exclamation! What? Watch this fortress fall? You thought to abandon me the moment you arrived? Very much so. Those were Duke Cayenne and Lord Rufus's orders, you see. Besides, my lord would never forgive the odious crimes you have committed. And quite frankly, neither can I. You should be weeping with gratitude. I haven't taken my sword to you myself. No. There she goes. I'm still curious who her lord is, but I suppose now isn't the time. I'm just glad her lord wasn't here. Celine? Oh, it's nothing. <sighs> Go on. The rest is for you to carry out. <laughs> I'm well aware. Father... No. Your Grace Duke Helmolt Alborea. You are hereby under arrest on suspicion of arson and property damage in Keldic, as well as causing harm to the people of Kreutzen. Please do not attempt to resist. Duke Alborea was taken into custody by the hands of his own son, Eusis. After Princess Alfin announced as much to the people of the surrounding area, the Kreutzen Provincial Army ceased hostilities and the battles taking place around Berehard City came to an end. Heeding Eusis' orders, the Provincial Army left for Arik's Fort, meaning that Berehard would come under the 4th Armored Division's jurisdiction for the time being. Furthermore, the Alborea family mansion was placed under the jurisdiction of the RMP, and Duke Alborea and Scarlet were to be confined there for the time being. Afterwards, the Courageous successfully landed at Briehard Airport for supplies and maintenance. It was then that Class 7 opted to rest and see how things were faring in the city for themselves. Sipkin calendar 1204-1226, Sunday, Bria, Bria Hard Stopover Day. Confuddlefication! Things should be fine here for the time being, I'd say. Brayhard's technically been removed from the war now that Duke Alberea's been arrested. 
Granted, the nobles here probably aren't too happy about being under Imperial Army's jurisdiction. The Provincial Army's mostly still intact, too, and we can't afford to let her guard down just yet. I should go check how things are in town. Plus, I'm curious about how Eusis and Scarlet are doing. I should pay a visit to Alborea Mansion before heading back to the Courageous. Bonding points, which can be used to trigger bonding events, will be allocated to you on stopover days. To advance the story, visit Alborea Family's Mansion and then choose to board the Courageous at the airport. Viewing a character's event here is one of the requirements to seeing a special event with them at the end of the game. Received bonding points. For the duration of this stop of a day, Brayhard's town map can be accessed by pressing the tab key. So, who do we have? We've got... Eusis, Emma, Sarah, Fee, Elliot, Elisa, Gaius, Toa, Machias, Milliam, Laura, and Princess Alfin. Of course, we have enough bonding points to hit all of them, which we are going to do. Um, I don't really know how we're going to go about this, but I think what we're going to try to do is end off with uh, Laura, as always, because Laura's the best. So... I guess we'll just work from the left and go to the right. So we'll start off at uh, Usus. I don't think there's any special things to do. Oh, there are. Okay, never mind. We're gonna knock out the special things first. Um, we want to go to Artisan Street. Uh, Apricot Inn. I don't remember which one's Apricot Inn. Oh, this one. Al Alouette Inn. Whatever. And speak to this guy. Who would have thought that Duke, that the Duke would end up getting arrested? Talk about a fall from grace. I'd like to believe that Br'er Hart will get a bit more peaceful now, but chances are this will just cause even more issues. The city's always belonged to the nobles. Oh. He teaches you a recipe, so we, you know, obviously can't do that. I just finished reading the latest volume of this popular series. Hopefully the next one comes out soon. Would you like to give it a read? I'm sure you'll see right away why it's so popular. Gambler Jack 2 Chapter 12. Now we're going to go up to the Duke's Mansion. Okay, um... Right, okay, we have to actually go into the mansion. Makes sense. <laughs> the size of this place never ceases to amaze me. Both the Duke and Scarlet are being held here, I think. Enter the Alborea family mansion. grand as Valflame Palace, but I doubt you'll find many mansions this fancy. The Duke's residence is certainly befitting of his status. You came after all, Reen. Yeah. I was kind of hesitant to come and visit in case I got in your way, though. N no, it's fine. Everything is largely settled here now. I will leave the rest to you, then. As you wish. Leave everything to us. And we will strive and make things as comfortable for your father as possible. You have my thanks. He's Captain Claire's adjutant, isn't he? Indeed. And quite a skilled one at that. He and his men will be managing the mansion together while keeping my father in custody. At least until the war comes to an end. Oh, 
Right. <laughs> There's no need to look so glum. He deserves to answer for his crimes much like others. He should be grateful he hasn't been handcuffed and thrown in a cell. <laughs> I guess that's one way of looking at it. Oh, yeah, Scarlet's here too, right? She's currently receiving treatment in the annex. She remains bedridden, but her life is in no real danger, or so I hear. That's good. If you'd like to speak with her, you should go and pay her a visit. Meanwhile, I'll be going to my room to get ready for departure. If you need anything at all, feel free to come by and see me. Thanks, Yusis. Will do. Wait a sec. Where is his room anyway? I don't know where the Annex Scarlet's in is either. I... I guess I'll have to ask someone. Indeed. Um... Uh, the room to the west. I'm assuming... Yeah, this is the west. Okay. Just in case this advances the story, I'm gonna save. Ah! I'm following the guide, but just in case. Did you come to listen to me whine and complain about you? I know you didn't want me to save you, but you don't have to hate me for it. I was just joking. I don't care what happens to me. Whether I live or die or get executed as a terrorist, what happens, happens. <sighs> Stop being so flippant about the whole thing. But you seem to be a little more cheerful than I was expecting you to be. I'm glad. Well, it sounds like you're doing all right, at least. That's good. My only complaint is that I wasn't allowed to ascend to heaven like I wanted to. But perhaps this is just how it was meant to be. I wish I could tell you. You said you used to be a sister, right? You mentioned something about training over in Arteria, too. I did. Though that training was a long time ago. That really takes me back. So that wasn't a lie? Uh, sorry. It wasn't that I didn't believe you, it's just... Hmm. I'll have you know I grew up in one of the most pious families in the country. Hard as that may be to believe. I was so, so happy when I was first invited to join the church. I doubt you'd know, but the church is a fairly complex organization with plenty of divisions within it. The part I was invited to join was an organization called the Congregation for the Sacraments. They're a group full of immensely skilled people who take on some unique missions, to put it mildly. <laughs> it made me happier than you can imagine to be recognized by people like that at such a young age. I didn't have any special abilities of my own, but I left home, trained my hardest, and eventually became a squire. A squire? As in a kind of knight? I thought you said you became a sister. Unless you're saying the church has knights too. Ugh, I'm getting confused now. <laughs> Anyone would be in your position. Their image of the church begins and ends with priests and mass. As it was, my days in Arteria came to an abrupt end. Just before I went out on my first mission, I got word of what had happened. I hurried back to Erebonia as fast as I could, but I was too late to do anything. Lady Scarlet, I think you should get some more rest. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you strain yourself. You really are a softie. <laughs> if you want to hear the rest, you'll have to come back another time. So, if you're interested... It's hard to imagine someone going from being a sister to a terrorist, but that's just what happened. I'm still convinced that it would have been a waste for her to have died back there. 
I'm glad she seems to have calmed down for now. I'll have to come back another time to see how she's doing. Well, got a little bit more information about her, didn't we? And now we'll go to Yusus's womb. Room. I. There's on one of these shelves is where you get one of the colors for the bike. It's the green color. Because, you know, Alborea, green, all that. Anyway, we will go ahead and, yeah, do these bonding events. The RMP should be able to take care of the mansion for the time being. Perhaps this is a chance for me to take one of the horses out for a final ride before I leave. Sounds kind of fun, actually. Mind if I join you, Yusus? I haven't seen any of your family's horses since that race we had. Not at all. That gives me an idea, in fact. Come with me. Huh? Where? Green borrowed one of the horses from the Alborea Mansion while Yusus rode another. Together, they set off on horseback towards Arx Canyon, with Yusus taking lead. Huh, this is where we had our duel before, isn't it? Why'd we come out here? Draw your sword, Green. I'd like to request another duel with you. Uses. Do you remember what you told me during our field study here? You claimed that there is something honest about the way I fought, and that it was because I learned my swordsmanship from someone I trusted. I did, didn't I? My trust in my brother has not faltered. However, because of that trust, I feel that when the time comes to fight him, my sword will be hindered by hesitation. I dread the day that I will have to turn my blade upon my own brother. I'm not proud of it, but that's how it is. I can hardly blame you, Yusus. Anyone in your position would feel that way. Perhaps. But that's why I'd like to face off with you, Green. Whether I win or lose, I believe our duel will allow me to cast away my doubts. And through that, I should be able to better trust in my own convictions, regardless of whom I may face. I realize that this is a somewhat selfish request, but please, this is important to me. <laughs> Am I even allowed to say no after that speech? It's not often you ask for favors like this either. So sure, let's go. Just know that I won't be holding back. Hit me with all you've got. With pleasure. Thus, Reen and Yusus began their duel, putting all of their strength into the battle. They cleared their heads of all distractions, their focus purely on trying to be the victor. With that, the fight continued on until... Ooh, I... I don't think I can move another muscle. Neither can I. Even in real battles, it's not often that I fight to the point of exhaustion. <laughs> I think it's because we can read each other's so well that we're able to fight to this point, really. Granted, I could see Master Kafai and Viscount Arsaid keeping it up the whole day without getting tired or bored. We're not them, but I still think we did pretty well for a couple of teenagers. <laughs> Agreed. It was fun in our own strange way. Thank you, Reen. I feel as though I can now go forth and fight with that same honesty yet again. I may have been taught by Rufus, but it was Class 7 who helped me to further develop my skills. No need to thank me. I'm just glad you were honest with me and asked. <laughs> that was beyond awful. Ha 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 ha, they both say. Afterwards, they somehow managed to summon up the energy to get on their horses and return to Breerhard. Your bond with Isis is strengthened. Almost maxed. Almost. Right, so there's a bunch of, um, these bonding events that give you, um, updates to character profiles um and also some of them are required for certain things with um the final 
uh, partner event. Yeah, that. Um, so yeah, you, whoever you want to be with, you have to go to this bonnie event with them. But since we have 12, we'll just do them all. What a peaceful place. It was during our field study, of course, but it's nice to see that's still the case. This piece could be a recent development, though. These past few weeks might not have been so kind. They certainly haven't been kind to Usus. Still, there's not much we can do now except rest and recover, and we need it. This does seem like a nice enough place to rest, to be honest. Hey, uh, would you mind if I sat with you for a while? Not to steal your idea or anything, but this does seem like a nice spot to take a break. <laughs> I certainly thought so. Please, make yourself comfortable. It's nice and quiet here. Not too cold, either. Don't think I've been able to sit back and relax like this in a long time. My eyes feel so heavy. Must be more tired than I thought. Reen? Looks like he fell asleep. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. He must be exhausted after Ark's fort. In that case... Huh? I must have fallen asleep. On something nice and comfy, no less. Hmm. Hello there, sleepyhead. Emma? Dots. Exclamation! Whoa! Emma? Why was I on your lap? <laughs> Did you sleep well? Best sleep of my life. Don't change the subject. Well, uh, so let me apologize. I really didn't expect to end up sleeping on your lap like that. <laughs> I'm the one who put you there in the first place, so no need to think about apologizing. I couldn't leave you to sleep on a cold, hard bench after all. One of my duties as a witch is to support you. Just think of this as another form of support. That's kind of a stretch. <laughs> I would appreciate it if you let me do this much for you, at least. It's all thanks to both you and Valimar that Bray Hards regained peace. In fact, I believe we've managed to come as far as we have thanks to your efforts. I don't know about that, Emma. You're forgetting that I had all of you. I've been able to push myself through all this only thanks to the people who chose to stick by me. Besides, I never would have come across Valimar in the first place if it weren't for your guidance. You think that much of us, Reen? Well, yeah. We've still got a long road ahead of us, right? That road will eventually lead us to Crow and Vita. So sorry, but you're still stuck with us, Emma. We need your support now more than ever. <laughs> I can live with that. I'll do everything in my power to help, both as your friend and as your class president. Yeah! Your bond with Emma has strengthened. That was a reasonably short bonding event. Uh, we'll start with Gaius, work our way down south, and then we'll move on to the next screen. It's good that we were able to put an end to this issue with Eusus's father, but the winds that blow through this nation grow more temp temp tempestuous. So I'm here to pray that they might finally calm, at least a little. I could probably use a little prayer right now. I think I'll join you, actually. So this is kind of a weird qu request, but while we're here, would you mind teaching me how people pray in Nord? Sure. Shall we move up a little, then? That should do. Praying like this kind of makes me feel in tune with the wind as well. <laughs> well, it is the traditional Nord way of prayer, after all. They say that doing so calls forth the voices of the spirits and Adios in order to rid the world of disaster. Of course, how that actually works isn't really explained. <laughs> I see. It's kind of frustrating to know that all we can do really... That all we can really do right now is pray. Rain? Well, this war has brought about so many sacrifices at this point. Whether it be the innocent victims or the soldiers who fell in battle. But in the end, there's nothing we can do to stop that. Kildick's proof enough of that. That's why I can't help but feel so frustrated at myself. 
I understand what you mean. I felt the same during my time in Nord. There's simply nothing we can do in the face of such a powerful storm. But that doesn't mean we should stand by idly as we watch the destruction. I know that, but it's just... No one person can make their way through life without help. No one can cover every need, every eventuality. But that's okay, because mankind shows its greatest strengths through banding together. Huh? Those are the words of an old traveling priest who used to visit Nord long ago. In the end, there's only so much we can do alone. However, by accepting this and working together, people can overcome any trial they face. My time with Class Sevens led me to believe that this is what he meant. Huh. You're not alone, Reen. You have me and the rest of Class Seven, not to mention many other comrades with you. So let's do what we can to prevent any more tragedies like Keldic from happening. You're always so confident, guys. <laughs> Maybe I should take a few pointers from you. This doesn't change the fact that we've got a tough road ahead of us, though. But knowing I've got all of you by my side makes me confident that we'll pull through. I feel very much the same. Let's walk down that road together, then, and take back our home. Right. Your bond with guys has strengthened. It actually hasn't. And I think Sarah's... I mean, Elisa, yeah. Right there. I'm glad Duke Albrea's arrest went as smoothly as it did. I hope Otto can find some peace now. I'm sure he will. Arresting the Duke was never going to give the people of Kildic back what they'd lost, but it's the most we could do for them. And we've got you and Valimar to thank for that. Without the two of you, the Duke might still be in power right now. Dots. Is something wrong? No, no, I'm fine. Don't mind me. She's definitely got something on her mind. Lisa, if you got something on your mind, there's no need to keep things bottled up. I'm always here if you need someone to talk to. Typical, Reen. Well, maybe not that typical. You're not usually this sharp. But you're right. Now that you bring it up, let me ask you a favor. I do not understand the question. I request clarification. You and not my awakener wish to board me? That's exactly what I want to do. Would that be possible? I don't want to use you to fight or anything like Reen does. I just want to see what it's like inside. Just for a little while, if that's okay. Hmm. Is that not possible or something? You said they were secondary contractors, so I was thinking it wouldn't be a problem, but maybe I had the wrong idea. You do not. It is entirely possible for secondary contractors to board me. Really? However, only my Awakener is able to operate me as intended. There is no comprehensible reason for anyone else to desire access to my interior. Huh, it's okay! I don't need to operate you, honest. Thanks, Valimar. Can you let her inside, then? As you wish. Exclamation! Exclamations! Oh, what? What? Valimar, did you really have to pick this position? While I have more than sufficient room for a human and a familiar to ride in comfort, an extra human does put an unforeseen demand on available space. I am afraid there is not much I can do under the circumstances. Oh, you are so lying. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I guess we can make do for a little while. It's kind of weird sitting like this with you, but I guess I am the one who asked for it. I'll live. Well, if you're all right with it, I'm sure not going to complain, but... So this is what Valimar looks like on the inside, huh? It's kind of gloomy, isn't it? Well, there's not much point in having the front screen on when I'm not actually fighting. I have it up often enough these days, but honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. I can see outside fine when I need to. Oh, right. It's weird to sit here and think of all the battles you fought with Valimar. When you fought those Alliance Soldats and against Scarlet and Vulcan, you were right where you're sitting now. Even when you fought with Crow. The fights are always different, but the scenery in here doesn't change much. I'm usually so caught up in the fight that I don't really pay much attention to what it looks like inside here. 
Selene and Valimar have helped me a lot, though. So, I'm getting better at this whole thing. Bit by bit. It's just not fair. We're your classmates and your friends. We're supposed to be fighting alongside each other all the way. But you and Valimar always take on the hardest battles. All we can really do is back you up from the sidelines. And to be honest, it's been on my mind for a while now. It bugs me to feel like we're just not doing enough. Oh. So that's why you wanted to see what Valimar looked like on the inside? Yeah. I thought if I could, I'd have a better understanding of what you go through and what it must be like. Looking around, it feels even more isolated than I expected. Lonely, even. Seeing all the things you do from the outside, then seeing what it looks like on the inside, I have to wonder, are you okay with the way things are? Are you okay with putting yourself on the line over and over like this? Shouldering such a huge burden all alone, and even the burden of those lives you weren't able to save? Lisa, I've never once felt like I was fighting those battles alone. You said it yourself, right? I've got all of you backing me up, either on the ground or on the courageous. Sure, you're not inside Valimar with me, but I know you all have my back. That's why I can keep fighting day after day. In that sense, it's not so different from our days at Thor's. Well... You don't have to worry about me, Elisa. As long as I know you're all there, and that I can look forward to seeing you again after each operation, I'll fight my hardest, and I'll come home the victor. All I ask is that you keep me in your heart, and lend me your aid. Always, Reen. Just don't go doing anything too reckless in here, okay? You're really important to all of us, but especially to me, so... Exclamation! Is there a problem? Exclamations! Oh, uh... What is it, Valimar? I have detected an abnormal increase in your heart rates. Maintaining optimal health is ideal. I recommend rest and a medical examination. No, it's okay. We're fine. We're doing... great. Yeah, never felt better. Thanks for worrying about us, Valimar. Mm. After taking a moment to unfluster themselves, Rina and Elisa disembarked from Valimar. And all while feeling slightly embarrassed and more than a little awkward, they made their way back to Berehard. So, as you can tell, they're definitely setting up uh, Elisa here as the canonical best girl. Um, which is fine. Like, Elisa's great and all. I just personally prefer Laura better. I think, I really think Laura just fits Reen better. And you, I don't think you'll really see that until the next two games, especially the fourth game. But we'll get there eventually. Uh, Fee, what's going on? Why are you sitting here wearing only one sock? The sole of one of my boots came off while I was walking, and now my foot kinda hurts. So I'm taking a break. Well, after all those boots have been through, I can't really blame them for giving up the ghost like that. Is your foot gonna be okay? Once I've rested a bit, sure. I'll get the boot fixed after that. You can just keep walking. Wait, how does she think she's going to get to that tailor without footwear? Is she just going to roll down the hill? Or just walk without boots? Okay, foot's feeling better now. Off we go. Hold up, V. You're not actually planning on walking there with your foot like that, are you? Might as well. I'm used to this kind of stuff anyway. Well, maybe so, but you still shouldn't be walking around on it like that. What if you step on something sharp on the way? What do you want me to do then? Ah, uh, guess I'll be the gallant knight here. Question mark? Here we go. Dots. What's up? Did it start hurting again? I'm fine. Just kind of amazed, really. 
Don't think anyone else would have offered a pity back ride in that situation. Huh? Don't worry about it. Into the store we go, my steed. Sorry, but the Pony Express stops here. Upon reaching the tailor, Reen asked them to fix up Fee's shoe for her. They were told it would be a quick process, so they had a look around the store in the meantime. Oh hey, they've got Stragas here. You're pretty fond of this brand, aren't you? Stragas are a shoe brand from Liberal, I think. I think. Not 100% sure on that. Sure am. Seems like they've only got formal wear here, though. Would have been up for buying some new sneakers if they had any. I don't see you prancing around in formal wear anyway, to be honest. How long have you been a fan? Since you were in Zephyr? Yep, the boss bought me a pair for helping out with something. That was the second present he gave me, in fact. Oh, what was the first, then? The name Classel. That's a present I'll never let go of, either. There's no one else in the world who can give me that, after all. I know how you feel. Dad welcoming me as a proper member of the Schwarzer family meant the world to me. So yeah, let's keep our appreciation for that close to our hearts. Speaking of things from the past, I was actually reminded of the boss when you were giving me the piggyback ride. Huh? He did the same for me not long after bringing me into Zephyr. Stuff like that's what made him feel like he was actually my real dad. Fee. There's something else I realized too. You remind me of the boss, but you're not actually him in the end. Just like Class 7 isn't the same family that Zephyr was, even though both are important to me. I'm not the same person back I was back then either. I don't want to sit around and be protected all the time anymore. Dots. Yeah, that's right. We're all in this together, Fee. Supporting each other's the obvious way to go. Yep, and I'm going to use what I learned from my old family to do just that. Thanks, Reen. <laughs> not at all. It took a little more time before their orders were ready, so the two wandered the store for a while longer. Once it was, they saw that Fee's shoes were as good as new. Almost maxed her, Bonding points out. So, one thing you might kind of notice... Let's try? Oh. Uh, well, one thing you might kind of notice at this point is the how... Elisa's bonding event seems to be the only one that was actually voiced. Hey there, Reen. Oh, hi there, Instructor. Are you feeling a little better now? <laughs> feeling just fine, thank you very much. Though I might have overdone it a bit against those guys. Still, at least I was able to see you kids off like a good teacher should. No regrets here. Instructor. Ah, uh, come on. Don't give me that look. I might be here resting, but you look like you should get some rest yourself. She's always dodged having to tell us much about her past, but she might actually be making an exception this time. Do you mind if I stayed here and rested a bit with you? I'd even be happy to join you for a drink or something. Water, I guess? Really? <laughs> you're gonna be rolling into bars chatting up the ladies like a pro soon with the way you're going. Just take a seat there. I'll get you a little something fancier than water on me. Phew, this hard liquor fights back. Gotta pace myself better. Can't chug them because they're too strong. I'm three sheets to the wind before I know it. It's better than nothing, but I'll take a good beer or cider any day. <laughs> I'm struggling with this cocktail personally. Feels like I'll get drunk from it even though there's no alcohol in it. Well hey, that's just one of the appeals of drinking. I'll make sure to teach you how to savor it once you're old enough. Same way both my superior and my friend did for me back in the day. Was that back when you were part of the Northern Jaegers? Yep. Granted, they both kicked the bucket a long time ago. Oh, um, sorry. Hehe. <laughs> this operation brought back a lot of memories. Some of them bad, but plenty of good ones, too. Getting back then... Getting by back then was a real struggle. Felt like no matter what we did, nothing ever got any better. You came from North Ambria, didn't you? Seems like life there was a lot more brutal than I could have ever imagined. Would you mind if I asked just when you decided to join the Corps? Couldn't tell you exactly when. It felt like as soon as I knew what was going on around me, I had a gun in my hands. Not like there was much else he could do to earn a living around there. They say it was a nice place till the Northambrian disaster struck around 20 or so years ago. I only go back once every few years now, mainly to pay my respects. I see. 
It was the kind of place where death would follow you wherever you went, really. And I wasn't any exception to that. I've lost many people who were important to me. One day they were there, the next they were gone. Dots. It wasn't until around six years ago that Beatrix, well, Colonel Beatrix back then, saved me. After that, I cut all my ties and headed down the path to becoming a bracer. You all know the rest after that. I guess we do. I don't even know what to say. I can't imagine leading a life like that. <laughs> yes, indeed. You won't find many heroines as tragic as mine, as me. But, well, what happened at Oryx Fort made me realize something. Turns out I hadn't completely cut my ties to that place. Crossing blades with old comrades was more painful than I expected. Maybe it's selfish of me to say, but I wish it weren't. <laughs> Guess this just shows that I've still got a long way to go as an instructor. There's still so much I want to teach you so you can make it through all this, but I probably wasn't cut out for the job to begin with, you know? I have to respectfully disagree with you there, Instructor. We've learned a lot from you, both individually and as a class. Things that you didn't specifically try to teach us either. We learned those simply through observing your actions. Like what? Take what happened at Oryx Fort. Your actions taught us that fighting for the people and country you love can be painful at times. We saw that in your willingness to cross blades with those you once knew. You showed us what it means to be truly determined. At least that's what I got out of it. And I'm certain we'll one day have to show that very same determination. Huh. That's why we'd like you to continue teaching us from here on out. In fact, we need you to. I can't see us taking back doors without your experience and guidance, let alone getting through to Crow. Wow. Look at you, Reen. Heh. <laughs> the teachers become the student. Talk about cliches. I get it, though. If you're that insistent, then I'll make sure you all get the best education possible. As your instructor, and as your comrade. Your bond with Sarah has strengthened. Well, that is where we are going to end this episode. Next episode, we are going to finish up the rest of the bonding events. And the episode after that, we will continue on with the main story. So, yeah. Uh, until then, I will see you all in those videos. Goodbye for now.